Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a little flip through of my budget workbook. Now if you guys don't know, I purchased the budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom. You can you guys can find her here on YouTube and Instagram. I actually found her on Instagram. She was the one that kind of motivated me to start my debt-free journey um, with her workbook. I was able to pay off all my debt. Um, if you guys follow me for quite a while, you guys know that I am currently debt-free. Right now, the only debt that I have is my house, and one of my goals is to pay off my house in 15 years, and that's what I'm working towards right now. I also wanna keep my sinking funds um, a year ahead. And that's what I'm working on. So um, I decided to do a little flip through of everything that I've um, done in my workbook. Everything that I share with you guys. I haven't, so this video, I'm actually filming it a couple days after January. So I haven't even put my new workbook in my happy planner. Um, all I do is I just uh, remove the pages from the coil and I kind of cut right of these lines right here and then I just hole punch them with the happy planner but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my flip through I'm also I'm gonna share with you guys the numbers of all the categories that that I currently uh, budget for and the categories are utility savings the credit card transfers that I make to pay my gas meaning my fuel for my cars any money that I take out for cash and sinking funds debt which is my house and unbudgeted items. Those are the categories that I currently budget and I like to keep track of. So with that being said, I'm gonna first do the uh, flip through and then at the end of the video, I will share those numbers and you guys can see how much I've um, spent, used, saved, paid towards utilities and then that way, with me sharing my numbers, it would also give me kind of a deal, kind of an update of the goals that I want to accomplish in 2022. So, with the budget moms, um, is this financial goal worksheet plan. Some of my uh, goals that I had last year, short term, was pay for and finish the landscaping in cash, which we did. Um, we estimated 10,000, which I think it was a little bit more just because everything went up. Um, start on the basement and pay for it cash. We haven't started on the basement yet, but I am planning on paying it cash. And then as of right now, everything that we purchased for the house, our new house that we moved in, we paid for in cash. Um, like their blinds, shutters, we did do that. Um, medium goals that I had was to get life insurance for my husband and I and then con to contribute more to our 401k. We got life insurance. Um, I currently am the one that's paying for the life insurance. My husband's, I don't know if they have accepted him yet, um, but he also has life insurance through his work and he's paying a little bit extra. So either way, we're covered. I haven't paid more towards our 401k. That is one of our goals that I'm still planning to want to do for 2022. I don't think it's going to be for 2022. I think that's just one of our medium goals, meaning within the five years. And then our major goal is to pay off our house in 15 years. So that's it. Along with the budget moms, you have our yearly savings. So this is our yearly savings tracker. Um, I ended up paying, doing another sinking fund for 2022, meaning we're back to school in Christmas, so that helps a lot. This is just trackers for our sinking funds. Um, and I will come back to this page, because this page I will calculate and share with you guys our yearly spending money on our categories that we have. But for the majority part, all January's is the same. I like to, for my monthly views, I like to track of all the bills that we pay monthly. And then these are all my paycheck budget trackers with me. All my paycheck budget trackers. Um, at the beginning of the year, we 
They didn't have any debt because our house was being built. So all the money after we paid off our uh, bills just went to savings. Here's our tracker. And then our monthly net tracker. February was the same. Um, these all kind of stayed the same throughout. Um, I really don't use the remaining of the pages. I'm even thinking of making my own, what is it called? Expense tracker just because um, I like the Budget Moms method where the highlighting, you color code all of your expenses, which I do like it. But I feel like this part, I can't speak today, this part right here is kind of too narrow. There's not a, uh, enough room for me to uh, to do all my budgets and it just looks crowded. So I'm thinking of making my own and using it this year. I'll share with you guys that as well. But as the years went through, um, so all the months are all the same. At the end here, uh, I just like to save this little um, sheet. This is my 52, back here is all my trackers. So this is my 52 money savings challenge that I did in 2021, which I accomplished. And then along with the savings, uh, the budget mom savings challenge. And I'm not gonna purchase the 2022 just because I think if I do end up doing a couple of months from the savings, from the budget mom savings challenges, I'll just use the same one. There's no need to buy it again. Um, I could just reuse it the same. And then these are my trackers. I feel like visuals help me. Um, that way, I don't know, that way I know when in the beginning of our, our journey, when we were paying off debt, student loans and credit cards, I felt like trackers, these little visual trackers helped me. It just makes me, you know, every time I would color something in, it just helps me. So I wanna get, one of our goals is to get the mortgage down to uh, 5,000. Uh, we started out with 525,916. So um, that is my goal. So this is my visual for that. And I like to save all our visuals through the year. So when we paid off our student, my student loan, I have that. When we paid off our Versa, which I have that. Our Camry, and I like to do the dates. That way it just works. It just gives me some kind of more motivation of look what I accomplished through the years. Um, before I found the budget mom, I was just doing normal, just some pen and paper, which you guys can do that. There's no need to buy a budget workbook or anything, just a plain paper and pen, even Excel spreadsheet helps. Um, other stuff that I had here, you know, our, um, what is it, our student loans, stuff like that, that I would keep track of. Same. Um, I started doing our debt tracker, I think it was in 2019, and then I ended. Uh, but yeah. And then here are some more trackers that I have printed off, and then along with the slips that I keep. But anyways, okay, so on to what we started. I'm gonna go on and count our categories of how much money we've had that we've had. We've, our yearly spending categories that we did through the year of 2021, and I'm gonna share with you guys that. I'm gonna go on and calculate. So the categories that I currently track is utilities. Um, these, just because I feel like these, you're always gonna have a utility bill, no matter what. Um, so utilities is one savings this is all the money that i currently put into savings and then our credit uh, i can't can't write credit card transfers and for this is um we pay our car fuel with my credit card and all this is just basically our gas bill we just transfer money to our credit card to pay off the the gas usage and then cash and sinking funds. And this is all the cash that I take out for our cash envelopes and sinking funds, our debt, 
which is our house, is currently our house, which I am working to paying that off, and then on budget items. Now by sharing with you guys our spending and these categories will also help me with our new goals that I have for 2022. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how much money we spent in these categories through the year of 2022. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding these up. So the first one is utilities. So in January, we I paid $655.90 for utilities. February, $963.73. Next month was $621.34 plus $842.43 plus $723.93 plus $968.79 plus $920.64 plus $871.00. 48 plus 1252.04 plus 1107.62 plus 1153.64 plus 1090.15 is a total of $1,000. Thousand one hundred and seventy nine dollars with sixty nine cents. Okay, with savings. So thirty one fifteen eighty plus thirty five hundred plus twenty six oh six fifty one plus twelve hundred plus twenty one hundred plus eleven hundred plus 500 plus 400 plus 400 plus 400 plus 400 plus 500 is a total of 16,222 dollars with 31 cents in savings okay the next one is Credit card transfers, 375 plus 300 plus 320 plus 320 plus 320 plus 320 plus 851 plus 320 plus 370 plus 320 plus 420 plus 220. It's a total of... Let's do that again. 375 plus 300 plus 320 plus 320 plus 320 plus 320 plus 851 plus 320 plus 370 plus 320 plus 420 plus 220. It's a total of 4,000. Four hundred and fifty six dollars. Okay. The next one is cash and sinking funds. So this is all the money that I took out for my cash envelopes and sinking funds. So this also kind of falls in savings, but um, that's just the way I like to track it. So thirty fifteen seventy nine plus twenty eight seventy plus twenty four ninety plus thirty one eighty plus 24 21 plus 27 89 plus 29 92 plus 40 25 plus 2700 plus 30 35 plus 27 85 plus 38 55 is a total of 36,000 $157 with 79 cents. That's how much money I took out for cash and sinking funds. Okay, now for debt. Um, debt, I did not have debt for the first three months of the year just because our house wasn't built. Our first payment was on April. Um, and then I didn't start getting, I didn't start paying extra till about August. 
Okay, so 25, 23, 79 plus 25, 23, 91 plus 25, 23, 79 plus 25, 23, 79 plus 35, 23, 79 plus 35, 23, 79 plus uh, plus 35, 23, 79 plus 35, 23, 79 plus 35, 23, 79 is a total of 27,714 dollars and 23 cents that I paid towards our debt, which is our house. And then unbudget items, meaning stuff that I used the debit card that I did not budget for. Um, unbudget. $1,441 with nine cents plus $791.59 plus $633.36 plus $457.11 plus $464.61 plus $4051 plus $56 plus $149.61 plus $12.99 plus 135.63 is a total of $4,182 with 50 cents. All right. So it looks like um, cash and sinking funds was 36,000 was our highest, but that's okay because a majority of this is also savings, like our, that's our Christmas fund, back to school, um, what else, pet, all that items. So either way, it's still savings, so it's good. For debt, $27,714 with 23 cents. So with these numbers, it kind of helps me set my goals for 2022, and hopefully I can lower these, and hopefully, um, we be good. But anyways, I hope you found this video a little bit interesting and in me sharing my yearly spending in my categories for the year of 2021. If you have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey and I will see you next time. Bye.